I warmly welcome Prime Minister Sushil Koigarala to Brussels. I would like to start by paying my respect to those who were affected by the recent floods and landslides in Nepal. The European Union reacted promptly and provided emergency assistance to those most affected. And we will continue to show solidarity and consider further relief support as necessary. The European Union is supporting Nepal on a long term. In fact, the EU's aid to Nepal will be tripled to 360 million euros in the period 2014-2020. At today's meeting with the Prime Minister, we discussed the political situation in Nepal and in particular the constitution drafting process. The European Union welcomes the ongoing efforts by the political parties to deliver a democratic and inclusive constitution by the planned time frame of early 2015. I also welcome the summit of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, uh, which Nepal will soon host in Kathmandu. The summit will provide a good opportunity to facilitate trade and investment and promote political dialogue and cooperation. Mr. Prime Minister, I would like to thank you again for your visit to the European Union institutions, and I look forward to broadening and deepening the EU-Nepal relations. Thank you again for your visit.